This is Dr. Vineet from Simplified Triple Studies. In this session, I am going to discuss what is the meaning of two-part tariff. So, I will be going to give a typical example of two-part tariff at the end of this video. You can watch the complete video to get an idea about how about the two-part tariff and how you are going to compute the electricity bill. Now, meaning of two-part tariff. Two-part tariff comprises of two components. One component is actually called fixed charge. Other one is called running charge. How it is applicable? Yes, when the rate of electrical energy is charged on the basis of maximum demand and the consumer and the how many number of units consumed by the consumer. So total electricity combo, like a charge that is going to do going to depend on maximum demand as well as number of units consumed. Remember that the maximum demand. Okay, the maximum demand. You can see this is one of the component. The fixed charge that is directly depending on the maximum demand and the, the en energy that is going to consider a running charge. Fixed charge will be directly depending on KW or maximum demand and the running charge will be directly depending on like we can say KWH, kilowatt hour. Okay, fixed charges belong to KW, then uh, running charges with respect to uh, KWH, kilowatt hour. One is uh, like a power, other one is energy. That's a simple meaning. So by the way, uh, let us uh, elaborate it further. Fixer charge depends on the maximum demand of the consumer. Uh, yeah, though you did not use the electricity, you have to pay the fixer charge. That is mandatory. When I come to know another component, running charges will be depending on the number of units consumed by the consumer. These are the major components. One is called a fixer charge, other one is called a running charge. Fixer charge will be depending on the maximum demand and the running charge will be depending on how many number of units. That means energy consumed by the customer. That's all. So that is actually called a two-part tariff. We, we should familiar two components of two-part tariff. Then we can write a simple formula uh, for like uh, computing the total electricity bill using two-part tariff. The total charge is given by rupees because uh, in India we use rupees. If it is some other country, then we'll be using the currency with respect to other, other nation. Uh, rupees B into KW plus C into KWH. So remember B into KW, that is actually called uh, the char charge per kilowatts of maximum demand. That is called a fixed charge. If I talk about the running charge, that will be like a charge per kilowatt hour of energy demand, energy consumed. Okay. Charge per kilowatt hour. That means charge per unit. That also you can write. It's applicable for the industrial consumer who has appreciable maximum demand. Domestic customer also can be used, but uh, this is more pre precise where the industrial customers because uh, the like uh, we can easily bifurcate which is the maximum demand. At what time the maximum demand is happened. Major advantages and disadvantages uh, easily understood by the consumer. Anybody can understand the, uh, those who know the basic calculation. It recovers the fixed charges, which will be depending on the maximum demand of the customer. But uh, the total electricity will be directly depending on the number of units consumed. Okay. Drawback. What are the major drawback? The customer has to pay the fixed charge regardless of the uh, load power factor and with respect to the consumption of load. That is the major thing. Uh, then, uh, like... Uh, and I, they, they are least bothered whether you consumed electricity or not consumed electricity, but you have to pay the fixed charge. That's a setback. Or we can say like a shortfalls. Uh, there is always error in assessing the maximum demand of the uh, consumer. Though we have maximum demand meter, but the result is not as so accurate. That is another uh, constraints. So we discussed about the pros and cons. Let's have some example for your better understanding. Fixed charge is given rupees $100 per kilowatt hour. Connected load, altogether it is 2 kilowatt. Next, energy consumption is equal to 300 units. Energy charge is nothing but rupees 5 per unit. Therefore, total bill you can calculate the sum of fixed charge and the sum of running charge. Okay, fixed charge is actually 100 into like uh, 2 plus running charge 5 into 300. Ultimately, the total amount is rupees 200 plus rupees 1500 that is 1700. Request you to verify once again. So this is one of the example. Uh, like uh, the majorly uh, these like a uh, two two part tariff is applicable for industrial and the commercial load where the uh, like uh, load load is higher compared to domestic load. So that these are the applications. So ultimately we discussed about what do you mean by electricity bill. 
what are the major component of electricity bill what is two part tariff what is the importance of two part tariff and where does it use and how do you compute the total cost or total bill okay so these these are the important thing you need to understand in addition to that you should understand that it is mainly used for commercial and industrial purpose so thank you very much for watching this video if you are watching my channel first time i request you to subscribe there are so many videos related to basic electrical engineering and uh, basic electrical lab i request you to make use of the session please share this video with uh, the people uh, like uh, those who wanted to uh, work on uh, like uh, the given part uh, like uh, LM, LM with the power system or uh, power engineering etc so thanks for watching this video happy learning i wish you all the very best for your exam and future